from this point, it's a quarter mile walk to the beach in Morris Island Lighthouse. This is the entrance to the beach and where the parking is at. Forest Island Preservation Project. It has now been a victim of the eroding island. Where's the uh, lighthouse one step? This is the path that leads onto the beach where you can get a good view of the lighthouse in the distance there. More empty foundations, no doubt victims of Hurricane Hugo. The structures no longer stand, only the foundation. This is the path where you enter onto the beach. The warning sign here on the end of Folly, warning people about the deadly currents that are in this area. No swimming or wading. I understand that the waters drop off to 30 feet, not too far off the shore. Island Lighthouse on a beautiful November day. In the distance you can see the Ravenel Bridge there near Charleston. This is the channel coming in next to Folly. Looking out over the jetties. The jetties are one of the reasons why Morris Island Lighthouse is now surrounded by water. Beautiful day. People fishing. People walking the beach, enjoying the sunshine. Some more of the beach here. The rock wall. And again, looking out over Atlantic Ocean and there's water breaking on the jetty. There are some trees on the beach. Dead and weather worn. There is a foundation of a building that once stood here. Probably was a victim to the waters that came in and eroded some of the islands. It is now 4 o'clock, don't mind my clock there. I forgot to wind the clock back an hour due to the time change. I'm in my car here. We're getting ready to leave some of the houses along the road here. All the cars parked, people looking at the lighthouse, walking the beach. There was even a couple down here. We just got married, came down to the beach to get some pictures taken. And some of the beach access and in the valley. Some of the houses. In my car, jamming and enjoying the sights. Here at Folly, right where the pier is at. Vacation Rick, signing off.